Police confirm a double homicide investigation is underway right now in Clinton Township after they found two bodies at a mobile home park. The discovery was made last night while officers were looking into reports of a missing woman. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live in Clinton Township. And Jennifer Ann, you just spoke with police. What did they have to say? Well, Alicia, it was um, a horribly gruesome, just a terrible discovery. The Clinton Township Police Captain says that they found two bodies in trash bags in a shed behind that mobile home there. You see, um, most of the police have gone now. They do still have police tape up surrounding the mobile home and the shed, and there was an officer here standing by. Uh, the medical examiner hasn't yet confirmed identities, but the captain tells me that one of those victims is a woman, and the woman who was reported missing does live in that same mobile home with several family members. He says they moved in not that long ago. One neighbor tells me they moved in just a month ago. Clinton Township Police say they came out to Rudgate Clinton Mobile Home Park, which is near 16 and gross back around 8 30 on Sunday night to investigate reports of a missing woman. It wasn't long after they found two bodies inside that shed. They've spent all night inside and outside of the mobile home taking pictures, collecting evidence, interviewing family and friends. At this point, no one is in custody for the two murders. Neighbors say they're worried. Right now, I'm scared. I, I'm shaking. I'm trying not to shout that, but I, I, I truly am scared. It's my community, and I want to protect my community, be involved in my community, and protect my community. Mm -hmm. So if there was something that I could have done, knew of, or would have done, I know I would have. Right now, a lot of questions and a lot of heartbreak for the family that lives in this mobile home, for the family and friends of the two people who were found dead in that shed. Police are continuing to investigate and we'll give you more information as we have it. But as of now, as I mentioned, no one is in custody. If that changes, I will let you know. Reporting live here in Clinton Township, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Thank you, Jennifer Ann.